Juan, I'm sure you had a decision to make after the season, probably an opportunity to, to move on or maybe even go elsewhere. What led to you uh, coming back here? Yeah, so, you know, I'm pretty, uh, I like to be pretty quick with what, what I do and, you know, I don't like to kind of meander on things. So, and my decision, it was basically based off of if I had earned an invitation to a bowl game, like, you know, the senior bowl or anything. So, you know, towards the last games, I was thinking, ah, you know, I didn't. So I figured, okay, well, this would be a great opportunity for me to come back and use that final year of eligibility. How do you use that now that, that you didn't get that invitation and you got one more year to get one? Oh, it's definitely a chip on the shoulder, you know, but it's all types of fun. You know, I love coming back and playing here. I'm from here. So, uh, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better situation. What, what do you think of the coaches so far that, that you've met? Uh, they're great. Great football guys. You know, the D-line has been in the office pretty much every day during this break, just learning and trying to, you know, be sponges for the information. And uh, they're great teachers. You know, we're starting to grasp a couple things. So I'm uh, fairly excited to get uh, get started with that. Coach Brown mentioned you and Dante coming back and how exciting those two could be uh, for next season. Talk about how excited you are with Coach Brown and what have you been able to learn from him in the upcoming days? Yeah, so their defense, or I guess our defense now, is going to be, uh, it's really predicated on being extremely aggressive. You know, and, you know, coming from me, a guy that's had now three different D coordinators, it's really just interesting to see that other side of the spectrum. And uh, I think it gives the D lineman a lot of freedom, gives the D lineman a lot of opportunities to be aggressive and then just, you know, really put your hands on someone and get going. So I think uh, all the D linemen, you know, across the board will be able to, you know, benefit from that. Geeked up was the phrase that Coach Brown used. How accurately or unaccurately does that describe how the team is feeling right now with the new defensive scheme? Oh, I know they're feeling just like that because, you know, just like I said, I mean, you don't get really get that many chances to be aggressive or, you know, just really just go as a D lineman. But uh, it seems like here we're going to be able to, you know, play a bit. So it should be fun. You mentioned team meeting on Sunday. It was really the first opportunity to get to meet most of the coaches. What was that like? Was it awkward? Was it, what was kind of the mood in, in that situation? Uh, I mean, like I said, you know, the D-line, we've been in the basically a film room with a couple of the coaches pretty much through the break. So we've, uh, you know, we took our you know time to introduce ourselves, you know, get the handshake, say hello or whatever. But uh, honestly, I think with the new staff and everything, I really think this is a great opportunity for everybody. You know, I keep telling the younger guys, you know, this is a great opportunity. This is a great chance. It's almost like you're going to a new school but you're at the same place. What more could you ask for? It's all types of fun. What about keeping Walt? Obviously, you made your decision maybe before he was coming back, but how much does that help you and the whole unit? Yeah, yeah, no, that helps the unit a lot. Coach Walt, being a Cincinnati guy, very personable, very intelligent when it comes to football, and definitely still have a lot to learn from him. So, you know, that just, him just staying here, really just is something that kind of melded the D-line a little bit closer and really is just gonna be, I think, really pivotal in next year. When you tweeted uh, the, the Terminator voice, I'll be back or whatever, uh, how did that influence anyone else? Did, did that uh, persuade others to come or, or stay rather? Uh, I don't know exactly, but, you know, being an older guy, I kind of just wanted to try to, you know, be that cornerstone, really just get it out there. I'm not going anywhere. You know, it's still unfinished business. And, you know, if I did influence someone, good. But if not, then, uh, you know, good too. I'm just uh, ready to get to work with the guys that are here. I know it's really early, but you played inside and outside in that three-man front. Do you have any sense of maybe where you'll fit best in this new system this year? Honestly, we do so much moving and shaking. I honestly wouldn't mind playing anywhere, you know, just uh, having that multiplicity and, you know, having that experience playing at, uh, you know, any position anywhere. Just uh, is kind of one of the things that I take pride in. So uh, if coach wants me to go play nose, I'll play nose. If he wants me to play, you know, end, I'll play end and, you know, just do whatever I can to help. Uh, higher ground that one of the highlights was your, your intro to the video. I mean, so everyone gets, is there a new tune coming this year or, or what? Ah, I'll leave that up to the media team. I mean, I'm always open to, you know, sing a little tune, but we'll see what, we'll see what they uh, come up with. Going against Louisville in the bowl game, even if some of those coaches weren't there, that was obviously their scheme, even mm -hmm. the players they coach. What did you see, whether it was going against the O-line or and watching the D-line and, and maybe how that translates to what you guys are going to do here? Yeah, so, you know, being a defensive guy, especially watching the defense, you know, just play, be aggressive, you know, feel fast and, 
really just kind of play with your hair on fire. It was kind of fun to watch, you know, the contrast in defenses. So, uh, you know, I'll, I keep saying it, but I think it's going to be a fun year. I think it's going to be a fun time, fun spring ball, just learning this. And offensive-wise, I know Louisville really pride themselves on lateral play, lateral stretch, and being really good in different positions. So I'm not sure if that will carry over here. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Being a local guy, there's so much being pressured right now on recruiting locally. What is the sense you get on how these guys will do recruiting in the greater Cincinnati area? I think Coach Sat is doing a great job at getting guys together that are great at recruiting and you know great at drawing interest, along with you know the fact that there is a lot of people that are from Cincinnati or possibly from this you know 45 minute area that are actually going to be you know key people I'd say on this team next year. So I think if I was a local guy, you know, that'd be something I looked at. You know, even though it's a new coaching staff, there's still some pride you take on being a hometown hero. You know, so for any local guy that's listening, I think uh, I think that'd be great. Was there any feedback that you got outside of just the no invitations from bowl games? Did you get any any kind of scouts professionally you reach out to? Just get any outside evaluation on your game for trying to get to the next level? Oh yeah, of course there were different kinds of feedback, but. You know, as I said, I like things to be immediate and concise and, you know, as a sort of public thing, I don't I don't want to take a bet on myself that I don't have to take. You know, I don't want to go all the way in when I don't need to. You know, I'm not a fan of losing my money. So, so you know, it uh, really just didn't make much sense for me to try to risk it all and go do all that. You know, just come back, stay another year, work on my second degree, and uh, go when it's time. Is there any aspect of your game particularly that you're going to try to improve on this offseason? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely footwork and pass rush is a big emphasis for me. Coach Brady was such a big part of the culture here. Have you had a chance to meet Coach Nico and that staff at all? And maybe what do you see from, from them in terms of similarities or differences? Oh, yeah, we've been working out with Coach Nico for, what's today? Uh, Wednesday? Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, our first workout was, uh, first team workout was two, was yesterday. Great guy, fiery, genuine. I think it's going to be a fun, fun year in the weight room. You know, uh, definitely has that head strength coach mentality, head strength coach vibe. Really gets the guys going, and you know, I being a bit of a meathead myself, I kind of, I kind of rock with that. So I think, I think it should be good. You saw Louisville in the bowl game. They they led the nation in sacks. So, I mean, how exciting is it to be part of that uh, defensive line where it, it's highly emphasized to go. Uh, not be nice to the quarterback. Mm -hmm. No, I, uh, again, I'll keep saying I'm just excited, you know. I thought we did pretty well uh, sack-wise and get after the quarterback this year, but to just see that on another level through Louisville's defense, which is now our defense, I think it's going to give a lot of opportunities for a lot of guys to go out there and eat. A young guy like Dante has gotten a lot of attention. Has he come to you as an older veteran? And whether it was about decisions to stay here or just improving his game, have you guys talked at all on that level? I mean, you know, Dante has a great head on his shoulders, you know, so I, I offer, you know, I offer him advice when he needs it or when he asks for it. So, you know, he'll come to me and talk about little things, but I feel like Dante, being another Cincinnati guy, is, you know, just he takes a lot of pride in what he does, takes a lot of pride in Cincinnati. So I kind of felt like he wasn't really going to go anywhere, even though he could, you know, greatest D, greatest D tackle in the nation right now. but. I think he takes a lot of pride in what he's doing and, you know, kind of laying that foundation, even with him being a junior now or a third year, and laying that foundation for people coming up behind him. Did you see, especially on defense, a lot of local guys? When the coaching staff changes over, did you see the importance of staying home in the university on guys who could have gone elsewhere but choosing to stick it out even if they didn't know what the future held necessarily? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it was definitely an importance of just trying to hold tight you know, uh, I kind of use an analogy of being on a ship in the middle of a storm. You know, you don't want a lot of people to be all on the side of the ship, you're gonna fall off. Everybody should huddle in, be tight, you know, just wait the storm out. And you know, that's what we did. And we ended up keeping a lot of the great guys that are just happen to be from Cincinnati and all the guys are from other places. But we held tight, weathered the storm, and now we're ready to go. Any other questions for Juwan? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Juwan.